basically there are two types of cryptography uh, one is symmetric key cryptography and second one is asymmetric key cryptography in this video we are going to discuss symmetric key cryptography now symmetric uh, cipher model or we can say symmetric key cryptography consists of different five elements one is plain text second one is encryption algorithm third one is secret key fourth one is cipher text fifth one is decryption algorithm so uh, if you want to generate or we can say if you want to perform symmetric key cryptography model so you must have to use this five elements so this figure shows the symmetric key cryptography it is the very basic figure of symmetric key cryptography model uh, in this model you can see over here, there is the left hand side uh, plain text is the input so this is the sender and this is plain text is output so this is the receiver now discuss one by one this all elements first one plain text is the original message or data that is fed into the algorithm as input uh, if sender wants to send data to the receiver, so sender have original message or plain text. If you want to communicate with a receiver, so at that time you have to send data with the help of any kind of security algorithm. If your data is secure, so attacker or hacker cannot recognize your original plain text message. So plain text message is an original message. Next, encryption algorithm. Uh, it performs various substitutions and transformation on the plain text so encryption algorithm so use of encryption algorithm is uh, convert plain text into unreadable format or we can say plain text convert into cipher text third one secret key so it is the value independent of the plain text and of the algorithm the exact substitution and transformations performed by the algorithm depends on the key so now uh, we can say en uh, encryption algorithm input is one is the plain text here you can see over here in this figure this is x and second input is the secret key it is k so this is secret key so this secret key shared with only sender and receiver so no other person known in the network if any person uh, access the key then uh, that person or we can say he or she can decrypt the uh, cipher text into plain text Fourth one, ciphertext. Ciphertext is the unreadable message produced as output. It depends on the plain text and secret key. So input of the encryption algorithm is plain text and uh, secret key. And output of this encryption algorithm is ciphertext. Whenever ciphertext is generated, then ciphertext is transmitted to the receiver side uh, through the secure channel or we can say through the secure medium. Next one, decryption algorithm. Uh, it takes the cipher text and the secret key and the produce the original plain text uh, now right hand side of this figure uh, decryption algorithm the input of the decryption algorithm is uh, transmitted cipher text and input same key which is used by uh, sender so both are the input so cipher text and key so now output is the, uh, the receiver side is plain text now you can see over here this is the plain text is the output same message as uh, sent by sender same key is used for encryption and decryption process so it is called symmetric cipher in this figure you can see over here uh, in encryption algorithm key capital k is used and same over here in decryption algorithm capital k key is used so in symmetric cipher you can say for encryption and decryption same key will be used so key is the most important thing in symmetric cipher if key is lost then message will be decrypted so how can we represent mathematically now uh, see that uh, this is x x is the uh, plain text as per the below figure now you can see over here this is the x and x is the plain text uh, the e is equal to encryption algorithm now see over here uh, x is the plain text as shown in figure e is the encryption algorithm is used and the another uh, input of the encryption algorithm is secret shared key so now e of k x so encryption algorithm input k and x both are applied on encryption algorithm and it generates y y is equal to cipher text now you can see over here, x is the input capital k is the input and output transmitted cipher text is y and y is transmitted to the receiver side now same as decryption process so y is the input so cipher text and same key 
which is used by sender so uh, y and capital k now you can see over here capital k and y so this is decryption algorithm used for k and y so d of ky and it generates plain text capital x so d is the decryption algorithm for example uh, symmetric key cryptography algorithm is most popular is uh, des we can say data encryption standard aes advanced encryption standard and blowfish algorithm here the possibility is that if an attacker got ciphertext so he or she may apply different permutation and combination to decrypt and obtain the original plain text if uh, attacker gets the key and ciphertext so easily decrypted by the attacker or we can say hacker if key is not available at the attacker so uh, attacker will use permutation and combination method and try to decrypt the data and get plain text so always sender has to think on applying different encoding technique on plain text and convert it into ciphertext therefore attacker cannot read the actual message so we can say uh, combination uh, permutation and combination of both the sides are different so attacker uh, will not decrypt the any kind of data during the transmission advantage and disadvantage symmetric key is faster than asymmetric key cryptography same key is used for encryption and decryption receiver cannot decrypt data without key so why it is advantage because without sender permission uh, receiver cannot decrypt the data if key is not shared with receiver so uh, receiver cannot decrypt data symmetric key achieves the authentication principle because it checks receiver's identity so it uh, based on authentication definition system resources are less utilized in this cryptography in compare to asymmetric key cryptography so what are the disadvantages uh, first one is once key is stolen while transmitted data can easily decrypt so we have already discussed before second one in symmetric key crypt of cryptography one is symmetric key cryptography and second one is asymmetric key cryptography today we are going to discuss in this video asymmetric key cryptography Asymmetric key cryptography is also called a public key cryptography and symmetric key cryptography is called secret key cryptography. So there are six elements are there in asymmetric cipher model or we can see asymmetric key cryptography. First one is plain text, encryption algorithm, private key and public key. This is the uh, key pairs. Second, uh, fifth one is cipher text and next is decryption algorithm. So these are the uh, essential ingredients of the asymmetric cipher model and all the uh, definitions of these uh, elements are already discussed in basic terminology of the network security video. First one plain text is the original message or data that is fed into the algorithm as input. So original message uh, which is uh, sender wants to send to receiver that message is known as plain text. Second one is encryption algorithm so it performs various transformation on the plain text so encryption algorithm is one kind of technique in which input is plain text and key uh, either it is uh, public key or private key so uh, output of this algorithm is cipher text public and private keys this is a pair of keys that have been selected so that if one is used for encryption and the other is used for decryption uh, either public key is used for encryption so uh, private key is used for decryption either private key is used for encryption and then public key is used for decryption both the scenario we will discuss in this video cipher text uh, cipher text is the unreadable message it is the produced by encryption algorithm we have already discussed about that decryption algorithm uh, it takes the cipher text and the key as an input and produce the original plain text so encryption algorithm will be executed at the sender side and decryption algorithm will be executed at the receiver side. So here key will be either public key or private key in decryption also in encryption either it will be uh, public key or private key. Next public key is distributed to all the users and private key is known to particular users only if uh, there are three users in the networks. So all the users know all uh, users public key but private key is known by itself that user only there are two different scenario of encryption model first one is 
पब्लिक की यूज फॉर एनक्रिप्शन एंड प्राइवेट की यूज फॉर डिक्रिप्शन तो सेकेंड सीनारियो प्राइवेट की यूज फॉर एनक्रिप्शन एंड पब्लिक की यूज फॉर डिक्रिप्शन नाउ लेट अस डिस्कस वन बाय वन बोथ द सीनारियो फर्स्ट वन सीनारियो वन एनक्रिप्शन विथ पब्लिक की नाउ दिस इज द एसिमेट्रिक साइफर मॉडल इन विच एनक्रिप्शन विथ पब्लिक की here bob is the sender and alice is the receiver so there are two users in the network so if bob want to send the message to alice uh, so this is sender and bob must have to use public key of alice uh, because alice public key is known by bob so now you can see over here uh, in, in encryption algorithm so input is plain text and uh, alice public key now you can see over here pu is known as public key and a uh, denoted ls public key so input of the encryption algorithm is ls public key and uh, plain text uh, which is original message message to be transmitted after encryption of message using ls public key uh, after uh, uh, output of the encryption algorithm is y and y it is called ciphertext so ciphertext is uh, transmitted to the receiver side ls has received message and she can decrypt the message using only her private key now you can see over here this is the pra notation pr is uh, private key and a is alice private key so uh, decryption algorithm input is cipher text which is transmitted by bob and uh, input is another input is uh, private key of alice and it generate uh, plain text output so this is the encryption with public key mathematically this scenario represented as Uh, public key of a now pu of a and the another input is original plain text x and it is encrypted by encryption algorithm and it generates y cipher text uh, in decryption process d is the decryption algorithm uh, in a decryption process uh, one input is y this is cipher text transmitted by bob and another uh, input is private key of alice so pr of a so this is the decryption process and it generates original plain text x now you can see over here, pua is equal to alice public key and pra is equal to alice private key second scenario uh, in second scenario encryption with private key uh, in this figure you can see over here this is bob is the sender and alice is the receiver here uh, if bob wants to send the message to alice now you can see over here and bob must have to use his own private key now this is the bob's private key so we have or uh, right over here pr of b so encryption algorithm input is capital x and pr of b private key of bob message to be transmitted after encryption of message using bob's public key so output of this encryption algorithm is capital y and y is transmitted uh, to the receiver side through a secure channel next one alice has received the message now you can see over here so y is reached at alice side so we can say at receiver side so she can decrypt the message using bob's public key because bob's public key is known by alice so here you can see over here so decryption algorithm pub comma y decryption algorithm used uh, is used so input of the decryption algorithm is public key of bob so it is pu of b and uh, another uh, input is y cipher text so its output is original plain text now mathematically it is represented now you can see over here this is the encryption process uh, it uses private key of bob so it is pr of b and another input is x it generates cipher text y at decryption side public key of b and uh, cipher text y is the input of the decryption algorithm it generates capital x so it is the original plain text message where prb is equal to bob's private key and pub is equal to bob's public key now pair of private and public keys so uh, who will know the whose uh, private key and whose public key now this is the key detail c1 by v1 uh, bob's private key so it is denoted by pr of b so bob must know but alice does not know about bob's private key next one bob public key so it is pu of b so public key is known by alice also so this is bob must know and it is also known by alice so this is public key so bob and alice both are known 
same as alice private key so bob not known and alice must know so this is private key which is not shared with bob alice public key pu of a so this is public key so both user known the public key it is known to bob and alice must know uh, for example uh, sorry a famous example of uh, asymmetric key cryptography is rsa algorithm rivesh samir and adelman and diffie hellman key exchange algorithm these are the famous algorithm of the asymmetric key cryptography now advantage and disadvantage of asymmetric key cryptography first one if data is transmitting on insecure channel but key cannot distributing among the sender and receiver if a hacker or attacker will get the message or capture the message from the insecure channel but they cannot decrypt the message separate key is used for encryption and decryption even if encrypted message is stolen by attacker or he or she cannot decrypt the message easily easy to user for user disadvantage asymmetric key use more resource in compared to symmetric key cryptography more mathematical calculation required so this is the biggest disadvantage of the asymmetric key cryptography 